Hello to all of my Aquarius. Aquarius, this reading is for the 3rd of April through the 3rd of May. That's right, from the 3rd of April through the 3rd of May. We are coming up on a super new you. We're currently in a waning crescent moon phase, right? So we're still in a cycle and we're trying to close this cycle out. We're in the last quarter moon phase, right? So you want to make sure you close out and finish out strong. We have, for those of you all who saw your six-month prediction on the other on the other side, so your six-month prediction video, you know that we have five eclipses this year, right? And so eclipses can, that, that's, a, that's a chance to... You, when you think it when you think about lunar eclipses like we just had a penumbral lunar eclipse March 25th when that moon was in Libra um, and the eclipse was in Libra um, that was it wasn't as dramatic as a total lunar eclipse right so lunar eclipses if you can think about letting go and then solar eclipses in short is really about a reset right so um, so we're going to have a, and you can write these dates down in your, your digital journal. We have links below for digital journals and digital calendars. You can write it down in your, your link, your uh, journals, uh, and the links are below. You want to make sure when these moon phases are waxing and waning through these divine masculine, divine feminine signs that you are, you are looking at every moment, especially this year, we have these reset this is the year of wealth the year of eight right so when you say you want to make room for these things and we're going through these these uh these some of these planets are going retrograde and these eclipses and things like that that you are tracking your journey you are going to be so proud of yourselves aquarius when you track your journey you track your progress when you wake up and you choose the light side of life every single day no matter what life is doing no matter what this person is doing, that person is doing, you're going to be so grateful that you chose to journal your journey. When So when you start looking at things and good news comes in, you can be in the moment. And if something comes in to try to distract you, you can say, okay, this is a choice that I'm making here and I'm choosing to land on the bright side. So let's get into it. I've already cleared the space already. Pray to Most High God for clarity in every area of your lives. And let's go. Talking to you wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. If you're new to my channel, Aquarius, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back, Aquarius. Let's do it. If you're just cruising on by, I appreciate all the love. Thank you to those of you all who support the channel and also add words of encouragement under the comments section to your fellow Aquarians talking to you wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart, even if you're on the cusp of Aries or on the cusp, uh, excuse me, on the cusp of Pisces or on the cusp of Capricorn, excuse me. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Check your birth charts. We do have links for free birth chart below. Starting out already. Good. The universe is in your favor. Here we have the universe card. We have the sun card, the queen of wands. We have Madre Tierra. We also have five of swords and six of wands. The universe... That's right. We also have the sun card, right? So the universe fully supports you closing out cycles, Aquarius, that really just don't serve your highest purpose. And I'm talking about closing out cycles in love, right? So something has definitely been fulfilled, right? So you are, you have the backing of the universe helping you on your journey, Aquarius. I definitely see somebody in really good spirits. Here we have the queen of wands here. We also have the six of wands here. We also have the five of swords, right? See these two swords right here on the ground? Every time somebody looks back at just the chaos and confusion that you, you're moved on from and the fact that people were committed to saying that you were, you know, remember sword energy is traumatic, right? So is fire energy. It can be traumatic. Like think about getting hit with a sword or blowtorch, right? That's traumatic, right? What I mean by that, Aquarius, is we got we starting out with fire here. So something could have happened with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, right? So when fire is used properly, obviously you can cleanse by fire, just like you hear about sunbathing, that sun when you're, you know, doing your burning bowl ceremonies, those things. But if it's used improperly, it could look it could it could cause you to have feelings of low self worth. It can cause you to um um continue holding energy for narcissists because you feel so bad for them. Like no matter how 
traumatic of situations you've gone through, Aquarius, you can feel like, okay, the every for every traumatic experience I've had, it's almost as dismissed. And they're telling you something even worse. Like they're one upping every little thing that you say. So you've already, like I said before, you're in the saddle, Aquarius. You're victorious. You're moving forward. And the universe fully supports that. The universe fully, fully supports that. Especially like if you're in a state of confusion and you're you're trying to warm up to, you know, energies and um and you're just in a state of confusion. Maybe they're not telling you the full story. It's something you know what I'm saying, Aquarius. So I definitely feel like this is this is a year of wealth. Like I said, the year of eight, but a large percentage of this year is going to be about purging, 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 purging. We do know we have planets that are going retrograde, but Pluto is really going to be the one because Pluto is this, we're coming, we're, Pluto goes retrograde May 2nd. So mark that in your calendars as well. But this super new moon that we're coming up on, and this is like the solar eclipse, right? A total solar eclipse on a new moon. So it's a super new moon. You're going to feel like you're almost in a dream state. Like, wow, I feel like a super new me, right? So prepare yourself for that like three days prior to it because that portal is open. That portal will be opening, right? So that would be like what? Fourth, fifth, you know, of, um, of you know, April. And really sit down on, with your journal and say, what does the super new me look like? If I'm inspired by people who are out here just doing it, what does their team of people around them look like for you, Aquarius? Does it look like a whole lot of support or are, is people still stuck on the, you know, I've been knowing these people for years and, and I just got to stay stuck to certain types of energy. So I definitely feel like you're, you are, when you look back at things and just, um, that five of swords energy, cause you on a lot of people's minds right now. Here we have the page of swords, I mean, page of cups. And these are energies that you know, you would not go back to because Again, they're always in argumentative mode. You can always just feel it, the anxiety you feel coming across your stomach when you think about certain energies. You know you're not going backwards, right, at all. So you are on a lot of people's mind right now. And remember when the moon moved into Leo, that reminds us that our vulnerability, that's everybody's vulnerability, is their strength, right? So when you say you've already been through enough traumatic uh, blowtorch situations, where something that could have started out as a bonfire turned into a wildfire of confusion and chaos and, and those kind of things in your spirit, right? Even down to the point where you think about certain people, places, and things, you start sweating. Start paying attention to that. Like I said, the universe fully supports you moving on from certain types of energy, certain types of confusion. There's even family members that's connected to chaos and confusion. You want nothing to do with it. Here we also have the Ace of Wands here. So I definitely see somebody is, um, your third eye is open. I see your third eye being open. And, you know, you're seeing a lot of things in the spirit that God is downloading a lot of messages to you. Everything is lining up perfectly for you where everything is lining up perfectly for you two situations in particular you're saying that's not your responsibility you're focused on being booked and busy not burdened by uh, holding other people's um holding you're saying that's not your responsibility two types of situations in particular you're saying you're not holding on to that like i said you're not holding on to confusion chaos fear doubt uncertainty as it relates to you or anybody else right so again, you're traveling light. I feel like just because your actions are speaking louder than your words, Aquarius, and um, you definitely feel like you are moving forward without some theory. <laughs> you're moving forward. Here we have the Ten of Swords, right? So there are some people in your life that are at Five of Swords energy. They can't, for some reason, they can't get their mind out of the past. They keep replaying stuff over and over and over again, and it's hard for them to move forward. And I feel like you've had to, like I said, it's going to be a lot of purging. Every time that moon moves into Scorpio, because Scorpio is ruled by one of Scorpio's ruling planets is um, Pluto. It's really kind of giving all of us a taste of what's to come when Pluto goes retrograde, right? Scorpio is also ruled by the Tower card. So um, the, the card for Pluto is the Judgment card. There's going to be a whole lot of people that's thinking you harshly judging them, Aquarius, or you may feel judged. But I think where you are right now and just you... Um, holding your vision. That's the upside of you being a fixed sign and say you hold your vision 
for what you want for your life, that's actually going to work very well in your favor as a fixed sign, Aquarius. And I do see you holding your vision. I see you holding your vision. Every time you look back and you go, I'm already there. I'm already there. I already know that Pluto is going to be retrograde for a large percentage of this year, along with the other planets. Some other planets are going to be retrograde as well. But Pluto is the death rebirth planet, right? It's the power transformation planet. It's the planet of metamorphosis, right? And so um, you're trying to make a powerful transformation. You're trying to make a very powerful transformation. So this is really nice, Aquarius. Very, very nice, right? Here we also have the Justice card. So again, you're talking about balancing things out. Remember, we, we got these two scales right here. Source is saying you are not, you, I mean, somebody is so determined that you're not carrying other people's burdens. You know, it's not your responsibility to carry their weight, their emotional baggage on your internal scales. Matter of fact, um, Libra being ruled by something is already closed out. So Libra is, um, Libra is ruled by Venus. It also rules Taurus, but in a different way. So the way that it rules Libra is Libra is a, um, it sits in the middle of the Zodiac signs, but Libra is a, um, a diplomatic sign. It's a fair minded sign. It's about relationships it's ruled by Venus, a peacemaker planet. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. So think about this, love and pleasure in every area of your lives, right? You feel balanced out, like healthy work-life balance, right? So think of that when you see this, right? And it's also the planet of art, music, aesthetics. We're talking about Venus now. It's ruling planet. Art, music, aesthetics. It's the planet of... Um... um uh, let me see, attraction, relationships. So when you talk about what you want to attract, you want to attract warm relationships, relationships that you feel motivated as much as you're motivating other people, people who will pray for you, not energies that will pray on you because they're still attacked to, attached to predatory energies. Um, and this is what's coming across your path. I feel like somebody has a new and exuberant love coming across their path. If you're not already in the relationship, they pray for you, not pray on you. They motivate you just as much as you motivate them. They are, um, they are, they offer clarity. So they are really in tune with how you communicate Aquarius, but they also really want to know how they, they know that you want to know how they communicate as well. So it, there's a there's a major plus to being around people who cheer you on as much as you cheer them on, right? There's not a bunch of confusion and chaos and you don't know what you said or did for the flame to just go out. It's just right like that. So I definitely feel like um, you've, you've closed out some cycles, you've moved on. And, and so th these are the energies that's coming your way. The energies where you feel like it's a warm space. It feels like a bonfire versus a, a wildfire, if that makes sense to you all, Aquarius. So yeah, you're definitely heavy on some people's minds, but you've already closed out cycles. Here we also have the, um, two of swords, right? So see these two swords right here, these two swords right here on the ground. Sources saying there's some loved ones that's not really completely telling you everything. And somebody's either somebody already knows and has already moved on, right? Or somebody has on blindfolds and just don't want to see things, right? But let me just say this for anybody that is a loved one of yours that you have, you know, you pray for them and they pray on you know, or they like to keep you in a state of confusion and they feel like they plan you into some degree, like, okay, well, I can't tell Aquarius this. I can't, they actually played themselves because you're at a major advantage, Aquarius. You have the universe in your favor and you've already decided to close out cycles, right? Of that overthinking to a point of chaos and confusion, even in your own universe, right? Your mind, meaning your universe, you've already decided to close out cycles. You still pray for pray for loved ones who uh, you feel like are because um, maybe people take time. Maybe people take what was the five of uh, swords here? Maybe loved ones need to take time to process their own thoughts. Maybe they don't see what's going on in their lives. But for you, you've already moved on. And when you talk about predatory energy, like apex predator energy, and you're praying for people, this is this is your weapon right here. Your um your your prayer life, right? 
and being able to see things that other people can't see. You're not, here we have the um, the seven of pentacles. You're already planting seeds. You've already planted seeds. Somebody's already planted seeds in a new relationship, planted seeds to purchase a home. So I see somebody celebrating a home. Congratulations. Somebody purchasing a home, right? Hmm. Okay, I'm seeing a bit of land there. This is nice. Okay, Aquarius. All right, all right, all right. So you celebrating with somebody. So this is good. Good, 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 good. Aquarius, good. Feeling like you hit the jackpot. <laughs> yeah, the, I feel like somebody has, like I said, you got some real good news coming your way. So whatever it is you feel like you've been holding on to, you know, that's that you may have felt like has been holding you back. Nothing is really holding you back, Aquarius. When I tell you, like, there's some people who... Um, Maybe engaging in some kind of fire magic, you know, when it comes to you all Aquarius that's tried to kind of sort of stop or block your blessings from coming in, but that's not working. Your prayers are actually squashing that. Your faith over fear is actually squashing that. That's breaking things. That's what we talk about. Things are closed out. You're not, you're not, um, you're not operating. All you need is like a little bit of fear, a little bit of doubt, a little bit of uncertainty about what you're moving towards. And that's how the enemy is able to come in, right? That inner enemy connecting with other things. So I definitely see somebody feel like they hit the jackpot and um, great spirits, Aquarius. Look at you again, booked and busy, double booked and busy and not burdened. Here we also have the full card, right? So again, you've just left circus situations behind. Here we also have the Ten of Wands here. So again, booked and busy, not burning. You know, um, okay. So business-wise, like I said, remember we talked about balanced out work and balanced out life, personal life, right? So business-wise, so personal side, we know somebody has new and exuberant love. We already see somebody buying a house or property or something like that. Great, great, great. So um, that's already happening. Happen or happening for somebody. So the other side here for work, I see you being booked and busy and not burdened by your decisions to move on from some things, if that makes sense, right? So whereas you used to stay in situations overthinking things, Aquarius, in your universe into a point of confusion and burnout, I'm not really sure, I'm not really this and that, that's what you're sacrificing to make room for wealth of ideas that's coming across your mind. So now it's time to execute those things. Like put they'll put a plan together, add some structure to your ideas, and it's go time, right? Make sure the energies around you are is clear. So somebody is definitely inspired and motivated. So this is nice. Here we also have the star card here, right? So, like I said before, it leaves you feeling very vulnerable and naked, you know, Aquarius. When, think of it this way. So, you're an air sign. Nothing nothing living can breathe without air, right? Can, can continue without air, right? So, when you talk about your fire, we're talking about the solar plexus chakra, right? Connecting with fire. Somebody has the I can do it spirit, but you start to delay that I can do spirit into a point of confusion and chaos and why is everything, why does it seem like things are not moving fast enough and so on and so forth. You got to, you got to check your universe. You got to check your head space. Like where's your head? That's why I talk about journaling your journey so much because, you know, and journaling that progress so much because I'm seeing you in a very warm spirited relationship now and if you're already with your person and you've been talking about you want a travel buddy and a travel partner great because i feel like somebody some of you all are taking a lot of trips right and and just like i said world traveler right so it's just like this is the world card right um and I feel like somebody is traveling to their motherland, right? So motherland can mean a lot of different things to a lot of people, right? Whether it's your continent, back to kind of like um, maybe where um, women figure in your life, whether it's your mom, grandmother, even if you didn't grow up with your biological family, like where do you feel like for you feel safest like a safe space for you right that could be somebody's motherland like if you've ever tra if you've ever traveled places Aquarius and you feel like I really when I traveled here I feel like okay this is where I could pitch my tent and I'm saying that because of this right here right this is where I can pinch my I could pitch my tent this is where I feel safest 
This is where I feel safest, right? And so you're kind of breaking out of that. I got to stay connected to certain people, places, and things and carry their emotional baggage, right? Because you, if you already felt naked and uncovered around energies that you were raised around and that you didn't feel safe there, then what's the, what's the use of holding that baggage? What's the use of holding that emotional baggage, right? So I definitely feel like somebody is balancing some things out here. And you've definitely left circus situation behind. Here we also have the King of Swords here. So you're sitting on your throne with all your wisdom and knowledge. You survived a lot of things that were meant to destroy you. See this person standing up. Usually you see the Ten of Swords. The person is lying down with Ten Swords in them, right? You're not lying down. You're, you're taking, somebody has decided to take their power back. You definitely have this I can do it spirit. Somebody is said you replace fear with faith. Fear, confusion, chaos, staying connected to, you know, energies that could be connected to narcissistic energy. You've removed all of that to make room. You got a lot of ideas. You're already incredibly smart. You've left nightmares behind. Here we have the nine, nine of swords. And so there's, and even, even potential nightmares behind, right? So this is where somebody is right now. This is this is where you are on your journey. This is where you are on your journey. Anything that could seem like a nightmare, you know, in as I say, if somebody has new and exuberant love in their life, even if it feels like a nightmare that um that it could be a nightmare for you, you like mm mm, nope nope nope, nope nope nobody nope. Yeah, so that's what I see for you. And I feel like there's some energies right now that's in a nightmare <clears throat> themselves. But you're holding your vision for, you know, traveling light, right? Ace of Pentacles, right? So you're not, your your time is precious. We have four, five, um, three, four, seven, eight, right? <clears throat> here we have the Knight of Pentacles here. You're a hardworking person. You get back to my saying, hey, that's what you get back to. Here we have the Five of Pentacles. This is about emotional wounding right here. So when you feel like for somebody, when you feel like you're left out in a cold and possibly, an, um, it could have been possibly <clears throat> a, um, earth sign that left you out in a cold, maybe Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your family who could have left you out in the cold whenever they could not manipulate your it could have been a, a earth sign or fire sign that left you out in the cold or and or a fire sign that could have left you out in the cold when they could not manipulate your emotions. But detaching from those types of energies, they could have said a whole lot of things between before your heart chakra was even um before your heart chakra was even um developed, right? So um, and it could have been cardinal energy. So cardinal energy could have been like, uh, is, um, cardinal energy is Capricorn, ca uh, Capricorn, Cancer, um, Libra, or what's the other sign I'm looking for? Um, or Aries, right? So see how these people, you see them in motion, right? So cardinal signs are, uh, they initiate change, right? So if somebody told you that you wouldn't be something or you could never be something or I don't believe in you or something like that, you know, those kind of things, that could be where the emotional wounding began for you. So, but again, you come from a line of prayer warriors. So somebody had to learn through prayer. So if you felt like your whole life, you've been kind of sort of in search of God and just who is God? Like, okay, where, where is God? Like, is God in the sky? Is, is God a, in a form of a cat? Is God, God in the form of the tree or a banister? Like what, what, you've been in the form of trying to find until you find God in, you know, source inside of you. Right. So, yeah. So let's add all of this up here. So, yeah, so here we go. So here we, we have eight, nine, right? We have eight and nine. And so then we have three. So everything is lining up perfectly for you all, you know, Aquarius. And that's why Source is saying to you, once you get to the crux, and this is what the, the lunar eclipse is about. If it was a total lunar eclipse, every it'd be just like just gone straight haywire because it would have been on a full moon, total lunar eclipse, but it was a partial one, right? So it wasn't, for some people, it was, it was kind of had people out of control. But for you, whoever 
kind of started you out with the emotional wounding. And that's why I talk about find out what your Chiron is so that you can start healing your Chiron. That's your wounded warrior. You can start healing that. That's the beauty of pulling your birth chart and really studying you, right? So that you know ahead of time what you are, are you, are you going to be holding space for people or are you going to be carrying a plain size filled with luggage for people, right? That's family members, friends, potential, whoever, such and such, right? All of that. So that's, that's the journey I see you all on Aquarius. So let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. This is good. Good, good, good. Yeah. Get to the crux of all of that because everything is lining up perfectly for you all, right? And I do see you being financially independent. That's another thing too. Are you getting into a situation where other people are not financially independent when you work so hard to get to that space, right? And so there is definitely some energies who um, heard some stuff about you, some some rumors about you all, Aquarius. Um, you're because I'm looking at fire here, but obviously we see these snowflakes here, right? So and these people got on coats, they're cold. So that could have been a trigger for somebody when you feel like people go cold and you've experienced that and you're between the ages of zero and seven, which is where your root chakra, um, your root chakra. That's why you're, that's why somebody said you would never go back to that, allowing that to manipulate your emotions or drying out your emotions. When you feel like people are just connected to you, whether it's family members, friends, whatever, something around money. The energy of money, which will burn your time. If you if you're in a state of confusion, it'll burn your time slash money. It'll cut down on your travel time. It'll cut down on you know your study time. It'll cut down on everything. It'll cut down on you investing in you, finding friendships. That's a warmer spirit, clarity. It'll cut down on a whole lot of things. And so that's what happens. So there's some energies that's going through a nightmare right now that has nothing to do with you. Here we have the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Here we have the Five of Wands, and we also have the the moon card and the three of pentacles like i said you're leaving a lot of things behind right a lot of things behind right in your past right like i said everything is lining up perfectly for you very nice so there's some energies that feel like they're going through a david and goliath situation with which which is where you're not you're not in that space of going through a david and goliath situation because you found your smooth stone and that smooth, that smooth stone is that you're not praying to something outside of you when you have access to source inside you. I feel like you and your person are going to connect over music. See this keyboard right here? I feel like you and your person are going to connect over music, right? Somehow everything is lining up perfectly for your, you and your person to connect over music, right? And, and you all are going to be building a very rich legacy together, right? So here we have the legacy where both of you all are very hardworking people. Um, you're connecting over music. You're going to build a very rich legacy together. But the key here too, is if there's any part of two things here, confusion and being given the cold shoulder or the assumption that you are not financially independent Aquarius and that you are the one that stays connected to people when it comes to money. Maybe somebody believed a rumor that you were a gold digger, that you wanted whatever. That's not even the case right here. I'm just seeing too much money in your cards. Here we also have the page of swords, right? And I'm talking about right now, even before you even get to the king of pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck, I see you aligning yourself with people who are very hardworking, right? So when you're talking about putting your list together of what for somebody has a new and exuberant love, you're very hardworking, you're a person who loves to travel the world. So that has to be also freed up people who like, who are ready to travel, right? You know, can travel at the drop of a hat, you know, um, it's, uh, you know, energies where you feel motivated, you feel like excited to talk to them, excited to be around them, those kind of things. So it's a, it's a whole list of things. I would suggest that somebody, as you're tracking your progress during this year of wealth, is writing down exactly what you want because that's going to be key. Not what you don't want because you already know that part. You toss that into a burning bowl. You're not even holding on to that, but exactly what you want physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of that, right? 
So in your friendships and romantic relationships, here we have six of cups and I definitely see you moving forward in childlike faith. Here we also have the page of swords. So you got some good news coming your way very fast. I mean, very soon, excuse me. Whatever anxiety you may have had is going away because you're learning how to pour into yourself. You're not settling at all. No matter who it is, you're not settling. You are not compromising what you said you were going to do for anything or anybody. Doesn't matter who it is. So that's right. It's balanced. Like I said, I said in the previous reading, your actions are absolutely speaking louder than your words, Aquarius. So like I said, keep it, keep it moving, keep it going, keep showing, keep, um, inspiring and motivating yourself because you're inspiring and motivating more people than you realize Aquarius. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Five of pentacles. We also have the justice card. We have the king of pentacles. We have the knight of swords, the two of wands, the knight of pentacles right so there's the king of pentacles again it just keeps consistently coming out in your readings there's a lot of people that have heard a lot of things about you all aquarius because you all are not i said this i've said it before your your primary focus is human beings right as a humanitarian right and the first human being you're investing is in yourself right so that you know beyond all shadows of a doubt what works for you and what doesn't somebody is really in healthy work-life balance for real like whether you have your own business family relationships friendships whomever healthy work-life balance you are on this you're not carrying other people's insecurities instabilities and whatever you know that puts them on a the dark side of energy right everything is energy your chakras you got light and dark side to all of it from the root all the way up to your crown chakra right when you are crystal clear about all of that that's when you'll start saying okay starting in january such and such i wrote these things i'm seeing it in february i wrote this in february i'm seeing it in march i wrote this in march i'm seeing it in april instant manifestation instant 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 right here we have the knight of pentacles so again you are not doing your yourself you're not doing any more injustices to yourself and you're not doing any more injustices to anybody else there's two sides of this sword right here you're not doing any injustice to yourself or, or anybody else and sometimes you don't know you've done an injustice to somebody until they tell you you said something like when you go off and go on your spaceship and you you um you thinking that you're going away and you are you know, finding some solutions. You're all excited coming back. And people are like, I haven't talked to you in 15 years. What? Right? So you don't know that people in that time and space, people's minds are all over the place, right? So you're saying to yourself, you're clo you're learning how to close out cycles before. Um, and again, when you close out cycles, you can't really determine how other people are going to receive it. You can say things in a kind of, with the with the purest heart. Your intentions could be sincere and pure, but other people can take it, you know, however. Here we also have the Knight of Pentacles right here. So, again, we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody is in locked in and laser focused mode. I'm um, for real. Like, you are laser focused. Here we have the Five of Pentacles as well. Like I said, we also have the Two of Wands. Very nice. Very nice, Aquarius. This is very nice when I look at your cards, right? Start out with a lot of fire here, right? But again, you're not doing any more injustices to yourself. Your vulnerability is definitely your strength and um, you're definitely not going into any form of escapism about what's to come moving forward. You're actually just really adding some kind of structure to your thoughts, right? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles here. So let's add all of it up, right? So clearly you and somebody, whether it's you and a sibling, you and your spouse or your partner that you're with already, um, you and a best friend, clearly you and somebody, right? are talking about releasing family stuff first and foremost right because that's going to have to be that's going to have to be key there's a lot of like i said before things are going to have to come together as far as you're concerned like a perfect melody it's going to have to come together and there's no such thing as perfection and best by other people standing i'm talking about perfect for you aquarius it's going to have to come together for you like that in areas of your in all areas of your lives so let's see what else we got going on so we got the five of pentacles here you know um came out twice knight of pentacles came out twice we had the king of pentacles this was gonna make somebody very wealthy though uh do 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 yep five 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 yep you're definitely at a um you're you're definitely at a pivotal point in your life 
you're definitely at a pivotal point in your life with um, some major things happening for you, Aquarius. Here are some questions for you all, Aquarius, you can ask yourselves. Um, before we even get to, I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Aquarius, but those of you all who like to take notes, people who are really, really trying to track their progress, right? Since we started out with the queen of wands and your minor arcana, which, which is going on now and, and how you can stay on your throne of just feeling happy, charismatic and free while you're going through a lot of major life changes and while you're inspiring and motivating other people so that you don't have to go back into situations that could have been confusing for you. Let me see something. 10, 10. Give me one second, Aquarius. And then nine, right? So that you don't go have to go back, so that you don't have to be at the nine of wands and feeling like something is pulling you back into... Uh, pulling you back into chaos, confusion in your mind, in your universe, right? So that you're not indecisive, right? Which is the dark side of Libra is indecisiveness. We're not talking about any Libras that you know. We're talking about um, a moon in Libra. So you're not doing any injustice to yourself. And so that you're not... Libra, like I said before, is ruled by Venus, which is a peacemaker planet. And it's a... It's a, it's a um, the way that Venus rules Libra is that it's about peace and harmony in relationships, right? All relationships, family relationships, friendships, those things. No being phony. You can be your, you can do, you be your true authentic self, you know? So if you're having a bad day, it's still love, right? It's still agape love. If they're having a bad day, it's still agape love, right? Um, there's just no baggage. Like people give you an opportunity to get to this levels to your throne this levels to everybody's throne right and so you we got the queen of um the king of pentacles and we also have the queen of wands here we have the king of swords here and we also have the queen of cups so you're on your throne in every element of your life already looking at your cards here right so because we're starting out with fire, so here's some questions that you all can write down for those of you all who like to write questions, because I know you all love to learn, right? First question is, can you make decisions quickly and definitively? Because that's also important. We're talking about fire. When you have that, I can do a spirit, I will have, uh, you know, uh, whatever, I will have clarity in my life, right? Because we're talking about motivation, clarity, inspiration, all of those things, right? You feel inspired, other, you're, you're inspiring other people, you feel inspired by them. That's, that's, that's going to be key, right? Second question is, in group situations, do you tend to be the one to take control? The third question is, are you quick-witted, right? Quick-witted, Q U I C K. Um, hyphen W I T T E D, right? The fourth question is Do you believe in yourself completely? That's going to be key because we're talking about this the I believe sign, right? Do you believe in yourself even when other people don't believe in themselves? So it's going to be hard for them to believe in you, right? The fifth question is Do you have a strong will? The sixth question is, are you comfortable being the center of attention, right? We're not talking about arrogance because your star is shining bright. This is your sun sign, right? We know your sun illuminates the moon, right? Are you, are you comfortable in that space of being the center of attention, Aquarius? Because when, you're, when it's your time to shine, do you have the support system around you? Or are you sitting there, people are trying to distract you know, you, but you're always there for them when, when it's their time. And I know, I know your question for that Aquarius. I already know your answer for that. So these are some, you can put some, you can put the question, some of the questions and answers below to inspire other Aquarius. I know you all are a sign that's really kind of comfortable, kind of playing the background and supporting people and, you know, doing the research and this, that, and all of your, your, your relationships. 
but this is really your time to shine Aquarius and so are you comfortable in that space or have you faded to the background because you've been around narcissistic energies energies that have feelings of low self-worth is it, it you know energies that you know keep people in a state of confusion so the the what's the name of the story the boy who cried wolf are you comfortable with being in that space right and having the support around you so that's important too um seventh question is are you always aware of what you do and what you what you like let me just are you always aware of what you do and don't like right so are you aware of what you like and what you don't like right so those are that's important too so if you don't like being in spaces where it's like okay gosh you know i can't have a moment to um, you know, share with whomever, just kind of a weak moment or whatever, and they go zone out somewhere, or you mention, you know, certain you you're you're sitting around a bonfire in conversation, whether it's over the phone or in person, and something about you causes them to drift off into la la land. And just, you're like, okay, whoa, 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 hold on. What's going on, right? Was something triggered or was something said? Like, what was said, right? You know, so again, it's, it's some of you all have already experienced that in all your, your own family. And just the mere mention of somebody even knowing that you're an Aquarius sends people cold because of the experiences that they had. Again, that's not something you're carrying. The um the eighth question is, are you able to be assertive when necessary? The ninth question is, are you good at setting and reaching goals? The 10th question is, do you often exercise self-restraint? The, the 11th question is, do you feel generally confident even when trying new things? And then 12th question is, are you motivated? Are you highly motivated? Not a procrastinator, right? If you're an overgiver to a point of confusion and you're procrastinating, that's what I'm saying. Source is saying, this is the year, Aquarius, you are not playing any games whatsoever when it comes to what you want, what you like, and what you don't like. It is very important for you to add structure. I know Uranus wants you just kind of off and just kind of doing your own thing. But remember, you're also ruled by Saturn. Those are two outer planets, right? So Saturn is about rules and structure and tradition right? All of those things, right? And so not trying to control you, right? So when you come in contact with energies that are trying to control your air, good luck with that because they're going to soon find out, mm, can't control the way the Aquarius thinks. But when you are, when you learn how to create your own boundaries and you're not afraid to enforce those boundaries, people will respect that because you're not just kind of all over the place, right? So again, I'll take it back to adding some structure to your ideas. So here are the questions for the moon in Aquarius. For those of you all who like the, the questions for, you know, these moon phases. So the, when the moon moves from Capricorn, you and Capricorn actually share Saturn. And that's another reason why I'm talking about creating some kind of structure. This is your ruling. These are, these both right here are your ruling planets, Aquarius. These questions, these right here are your ruling planets, Uranus and Saturn, right? Uranus and Saturn are your ruling planets. The universe is your mind, your sun sign. That's your purpose, right? So source is saying to you, when you're in spaces, when you're dealing with energies that want the sun, moon, and the whole world to revolve around them, hey, if it's their time to shine, if they're in a connected a connection with you and it's their time to shine, I don't see that as being a problem for you. You going all out, Aquarius, you know, but the moment you see, you get the cold shoulder based on anything connected to you that takes somebody back to between ages of zero and seven, right? That's what you say, hey, deuces, right? Remember, you see these two scales. The number two means your peace is paramount, right? So, yes, Aquarius, leaving some things in the past, some things you're leaving in the past, injustices that you may have done to yourself in the past, possibly because you didn't believe in yourself, Aquarius, which started with this right here, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Here we have 
the the Knight of Cups. We also have the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Two of Spades. We have the Six of Spades. And then we also have the Nine of Hearts, right? Lots of spades, lots of spades. Lots of spades. All right. So yeah, it goes it, it comes back down to the seven of swords here because we got the knight of swords here. Like I said, some situations that you're leaving behind, just like carrying other, you know, energies on your internal scales, Aquarius. This is really nice looking at this. We also have the the knight of um we got a lot of knight energy here, right? So yeah. The, we have the Knight of Cups here, right? We also have the Queen of Cups. We also came out twice. Queen of Cups, you're pouring into yourself. We also have the Ten of Cups and also the Nine of Cups again, right? So you're definitely getting your wishes fulfilled. You and somebody, whoever it is, you are a wish fulfillment to, to people that's in this new cycle of your life and they are wish fulfillment to you, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So I definitely see your um, your soul community definitely see your soul community coming together. Yeah. So you're unique, definitely unique. And I mean that in the highest compliment Aquarius. So, um, yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. So your soul, your soul community is coming together in Aquarius in ways that you may not have. I mean, it, it's your prayers. You're, that's why I said track your progress because everything is coming together for you. Everything is coming together for you. And Source is going to make sure you have the resources to um, make sure you have the resources to accomplish your mission and goal here on earth as a humanitarian. I am patient. 10, 10, right? Remember, number 10 is the number for instant manifestation, right? So your words are creating, your words and your thoughts are creating your reality, right? So be careful of what you allow in your universe. I am patient. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. And that is the truth. That's right. That is the truth. Yeah. I feel like some energies were definitely using some kind of fire magic to try to control you know, bringing you back into some situations. And those are the energies that, you know, sometimes people say things and it sticks in your mind. You won't be able to do this. Or I don't believe that they're going to do that. You know, creates that room for doubt. There should be no room for doubt whatsoever. No room, no room for insecurities. When you say you're going to do it, stand on it, stand firm on it. So don't, don't look to the left and look to the right. Cause I feel like a lot of you all or saying you're buying a house, do it. I don't care how many times you purchased a house in the past or lost a house or the loan didn't go through or whatever the case may be, it's coming. I'm saying that for somebody. I feel like somebody's credit is going to be really good. I feel like a lot of you already have credit, good credit. Um, here we have heal people move differently. That's right. Heal people just move differently. So, And that's what I see you're doing. That's what I see you doing. But there's definitely been a lot of trauma looking at here, looking at the cards here. There's some, some things that have been passed down to you. Yeah, here we have heal people move differently. So you have the gift of precognition. You have the gift of precognition. This is foreknowledge. So somebody definitely knows now what you didn't know before, you know, Aquarius, about some stuff, um, family-related things. A lot of stuff is still coming out. And, um, but the main thing is no matter what comes out as far as your family is concerned, it's for you not to be confused and distracted. Okay. That's just the main thing. A lot of things are coming out. A lot of things are coming out. Like I said, no exuberant love coming. Somebody's buying a house. Somebody's going to be celebrating, increasing your money. I see somebody in a leadership position, which is really, really nice. Um, there's still a lot of people that, you know, they, they feel left out of your life to some degree. But I don't feel like you feel left out of theirs because you're not interested in a seat at their table. So I definitely don't see you going back to anything. But energies are definitely trying to pull you back into some stuff. You are protected and loved. Yep. Your ex wants to return. We know that. We know. Somebody apologizes for hurting you. Somebody apologizes for hurting you. And so somebody's a succubus, right? So source wants you to pour into yourself. We're not talking about you being a succubus. Get locked in and laser focused. Um... You are protected by angels, Aquarius. Source wants you to keep on moving forward and you're healing from pain that some energies cause. Your inner child is very proud of you. That's right. Your inner child is very proud of you. Let's get some more message. Let's get a few more messages and we're going to go ahead and close this out. All right. So 
All right. What are the ancestors saying? Because you got a lot of them around you, Aquarius. You got a lot of ancestors around you. Wow. There's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff going on in these cards here, Aquarius. Again, take only what resonates with you. Take only what resonates with you. A lot of information is coming out about family. A lot of information coming about like about the people that you were raised around. Um, and that's what I mean by whether it's blood relative or not. And a lot of information coming out around family. That's why harmonious relationships are so important to you all because somebody has gone through so much manipulation here looking at your cards. But you got a lot of really good information. That's why I keep telling people it's not all about money. I know a lot of people get excited about, oh my God, King of Pentacles, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. When you walk through so much, it's been so much mind control looking at the cards here, Aquarius. And that's exactly how people thought they were going to come into your life and try to control your mind, your way of thinking. That's not going to happen. There it is. The answers that you need are coming. The answers that you need are coming. Somebody's going to tell you something, Aquarius. I mean, aside from this reading right here, but somebody's going to tell you something and um, that's going to help you to remember that you can go ahead and just flip a switch at any time. That you can flip a switch at any time. Gemini is coming up. The Gemini. Gemini is um, a mutable sign, right? And... It's an air sign like you all are, and and then it's a it's a it's a it's a, it loves to learn. It's like a sponge sign, loves to learn, loves to learn a whole bunch of stuff. Somebody's gonna learn, some, find out some stuff as far as their family is concerned, and I just feel like you're just gonna just kind of flip a switch, be like okay, and just move on. If you haven't already found out some things, I am worthy of the very best in life, and lovingly allow myself to accept what comes my way. That's right. Lovingly allow myself to accept what comes my way. That's right. That's what, before I pull that card, I feel like somebody's just going to say, okay. I feel like instinctively, a lot of people know what I'm sharing with you all, like kind of sort of where some things started. I think I said one time in one of your videos, I feel like somebody had to look and see if their birth certificate was accurate, right? So... I said that and then I moved on with the reading. And so, but I feel like, I feel like some people are going to find out some stuff, you know, this year. And I don't think it's, I, honestly, I just don't think it's going to phase you. Akashic Records. Mm-hmm. If you haven't pulled your Akashic Records, it's time to start doing so because the, the, and, and journal that. <laughs> Make sure you journal. Pull your Akashic Records and journal what you, what your findings are. Because it's going to show you a lot of things, you know, Aquarius, that you're like, okay, am I going crazy? Nope. You're not going crazy at all. You're not going crazy at all, right? So, um, there's definitely a you can you can look it up on you can look it up on YouTube too like you know just akashic rare it's but it's definitely a particular frequency you know that will help you to locate your akashic records right in a mental plane right and so um hmm yeah try not to extend your reading <laughs> <laughs> extend your reading but a lot of people want to go back through you know kind of sort of you know your past lives your fate your destiny those kind of things um yeah it's just like it's like if you ever been to the library of congress it's like going back through, I mean, I kind of give it like in a physical sense for somebody to kind of, so it's like going back through there, just like, just like going back through your past lives, um, your soul journey, like your, 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 your past lives, your present incarnation, your future possibilities. You want to be clear about all those things, right? And just as, um, they exist in an energetic realm, you know, basically like why you are the way that you are, why other people, you know, how did that influence you know how like you have, um, you could have siblings that grew up in the same household and people really believe like, are y'all sure y'all grew up under the same roof, the same household? Like some siblings go on to do these things according to the world, be successful 
some siblings go on to not be a six, you know, success. I mean, we're talking about just worldly thing, not that that even matters really, but you know what I'm saying? Like some people are deemed as a success. Some people are deemed as a, a failure to some energies, right? But then you also have loved ones that don't want to take accountability for the burdens that they cause in your life. They only want to take accountability for the blessings. So if you are by a success by worldly standards, Aquarius, oh my God, arm around the shoulders, you know, oh my God, this is my cousin. This is my niece. This is my nephew. Oh my God. But if according to some families, if you're bringing shame to the family, oh, we don't want to have anything to do with that. So that's not, that's not us. You hear people like, I can't say jokingly say, cause it's not really a joke when you hear parents say, oh, they got that from your side of the family. Look how they act. <laughs> that That's from your side of the family. Almost as like a, like a dismissal of, you know, just being in human form, that human frailty. So a lot of things are going to come out, Aquarius, a lot of things, but I don't think that you're, I, I, I don't, honestly, I really don't think that re this reading could go on for an hour. I mean, like, well, it's almost an hour, <laughs> so it can go on for two hours for real with the information. I don't think a lot of you all are going to be um, shocked by, you know, what you find out. If anything, I think that it's going to actually be a relief. I think it's going to really, really be a relief for a lot of you all to say, wow, okay, it makes sense. A lot of things make sense. So, Yeah. Faye, not everything is it as it may seem. Be cautious, dear one, for there's a story beneath every tale. Yeah. So there's a lot of people who live in a fairy tale land. They live in a they live in a, a fairy tale land. And so source is saying to you, when you know the truth, and other people could be accusing you of living in a fairy tale land, Aquarius, it's because they don't want the truth exposed when you could have receipts and I'm gonna just leave it right there. I'm gonna just park it right there. A lot of people don't want you. They want to, they want to hold, they want to keep up a lie about certain things when you know the truth about things. And when people want to hold, keep up a lie, when they want to, they want to keep a lie going because they're trying to protect their reputations. They're trying to create, we're specifically speaking of family, your family. When people want to protect certain things, even though you're not exposing, you're not trying to expose anything, trying to expose people, places, and things. That's where the fear comes in, right? But you're moving on in faith. Here we have kindness. I am full of loving kindness, period. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. Like I said before, I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I am grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. I feel like some documentation for somebody has been forged. Um, and people don't want secrets to get out. So I'm going to just leave it there, Aquarius. That's what I have for you all. Do we have a number? And we can go ahead and uh, close this out. Mm -mm. 23, I'm adventurous. That's why I said, looking at your cards here, 23, I'm adventurous, right? So you have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and you need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest, right? I feel like some of your family members are telling some big, big lies. And um, again, I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but I feel like somebody's family members are telling a whole lot of big lies and spreading a lot of false rumors to protect. It's a group of them that's spreading a lot of lies that's trying to protect some false rumors. But if you did not have proof to stuff, it would make you seem like you were stock raving mad Aquarius and you are not not at all like I said that's why you said you're closing out cycles in love like somebody has been definitely left vulnerable and uncovered and so you're like if I got to stay around certain people that's going to continue to leave you feeling you feeling vulnerable and uncovered you rather close out the cycle and move on without them just release them they might as well burn up whatever that connects you to them the bridge has already been burned you've already moved on and that's that 
that's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. Your questions for the moon in Aquarius are what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? The second question is, are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist and innovator? The third question is, are you ready? Third question is, are you ready to think outside the box or delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? The fourth question is using technology a drain or gain for you. And then the fifth is, are you ready to start a group in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? And then what could the focus be? What could the focus be? When the moon moves from Capricorn into Aquarius, it detaches us from every day. It distances us from the known reality and makes us spread our wings and open our minds to bigger, right? So it'll remind you that you have a mission here on earth. And the moment somebody found their purpose here on earth, a whole lot of stuff started opening up and you started finding out a whole lot of things, you know, Aquarius. And so that's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.